All right, so if you watched the video I made on GameStop earlier, um, you know, I'm just, I'm remaking this video now because something happened and I accidentally deleted it. Um, I was having some trouble with my streaming software earlier today and I had created a bunch of videos and I ended up deleting that one on accident. So I thought I'd remake it in case anyone didn't, who didn't get a chance to watch it earlier. Um, so the purpose of this video is really just to kind of say like, I am still invested in GameStop. I haven't sold these shares. Um, and I didn't even think that was even a question because I have been talking about it on the live stream a lot, but I ran into a friend of mine the other day and he's like, no, I thought you were, you know, invested in this now or that. And I said, no, I'm still like GameStop is still my biggest position. Okay. So, um, you know, and I, and I, and I really feel like I should put that out there, especially now that we've kind of been going through this downtrend in GameStop to let people know that like, I'm still holding, um, I still believe in this stock. Nothing has changed in my outlook on GameStop squeeze potential or their potential for the future. In fact, you know, uh, last week, GameStop actually had some great news. I mean, they beat earnings. Um, you know, Ryan Cohen got announced as chair or voted in as chair at the shareholders meeting. Um, and after that, the stock got hammered, right? It got hammered down, which happened at the last time they reported great earnings. And they also uh, announced and had the money offering to kind of raise some more capital, uh, sell 5 million shares. Uh, the FUD kind of went out and, and kind of pushed that as a negative. You know, 5 million shares compared to the float of GME isn't a big deal. Um, and it's actually going to put the company in a better position to make this pivot into e-commerce and, you know, crypto or whatever it is that they're moving away from the whole brick and mortar thing. Um, so... I'm excited about it. I think it's all great news. Um, I think that in the coming days, we'll probably get an announcement that they completed their at the money offering. That's just my speculation. Um, but, you know, uh, somebody on the Superstonk subreddit, I know I had read a couple posts, I think back on Friday, saying that, you know, the number of shares uh, reported as part of a free float had increased. And so, you know, based on that, I would imagine that the company already completed the at the money offering. And once they make the announcement that they did, maybe the stock that'll be the catalyst that gets the stock to start rebounding. So I'm hoping for that to maybe come tomorrow, Thursday, Friday at some point. But I also think that this is a great time to buy in. Um, and, you know, earlier when I made the video, I was looking at, let me see if I can get this in here. So this is the five minute chart right now of GME. And I had put the video out somewhere around here and basically was talking about this being the bottom, you know, I think 209, 208 is going to be where we bounce from. Um, and so it did end up bouncing up and we finished the day, you know, still for a loss, but, you know, upwards of 225. And if you kind of zoom out and look, um, we've hit this, uh, you know, this level 210, um, you know, 206 and then today kind of the 209. So we've been bouncing off this, this level and I feel like we have a lot of support in this range. Um, I kind of think this is the new floor and, you know, that should be good moving forward. Um, I think there's nowhere but up to go from here. I think, you know, if we look at the daily chart, kind of look at it the same way. We did have a gap up back in May, uh, May 26th. Um, and even though we've kind of gone below and kind of touched down here where that gap was and look to fill that gap a couple times, we've still been consistently closing like, you know, in that 219 to 220 range. So, you know, I think there's a lot of support here in this stock. I think this is a good opportunity to buy and get back in. I don't think it's going any lower than this. And, you know, with that at the money offering, we should see the stock kind of propel upwards. We also have another T21 day coming up. So um, if you watched one of my previous videos, I kind of explained what the T21 was. And after that last one, you know, the stock went upwards. And every 21 days or so when these dates come up, um, the stock continues to move up. So, so far, uh, that theory has been correct. Um, you know, and that's not my theory either. You know, that's some research from Superstock. If you're unfamiliar with the subreddit, I suggest you go on there. There's great stuff every day. Um, but that T21 day is coming up next week. So a couple catalysts that we could be looking forward to. And I think ultimately, 
you know, as you can see, like every time we get this nice increase, we kind of create a new floor, right? And then we get a nice push up and we create a new floor. We've been seeing resistance at this 350 level. That's kind of been where every time we get that nice push up, we haven't been able to break through. Um, and, you know, I'm now that we're starting at a much higher point, I'm hoping that on this next T21 day, maybe as we get propelled upwards, we get a chance to break through this 350 level and see what we can do. Uh, my expectation is that once we do kind of break this ceiling, um, we're going to get up here and look to test this new uh, 480 would be kind of like the new ceiling that we need to kind of break through. So that's my speculation, at least. Um, obviously, I could be wrong, but I still have a very strong belief in this stock. I believe in the long term potential of GameStop, and I also believe in the squeeze potential of GameStop. Um, so nothing's changed. I'm still in. Um, I know that this drop, you know, from God, we were almost at 340, 345 the other day has been brutal, you know, to get all the way back down to, you know, in the $200 range, low $200 range. But if you've been in this stock since January, like I have, or, you know, even before then, you're used to this volatility and you know that every time we swing down, we end up swinging back up. So um, if for chance you happen to get out and sell, um, when we were up at those highs in the, you know, the 340 range, 330 range, good for you, uh, you know, but now I would say is a great opportunity to buy back in. Um, as for me, I still haven't sold anything. I've just been holding tight and I'm waiting for this uh, squeeze to eventually kick off. That's it. Uh, tried to make this short and sweet. Again, uh, if you already watched the previous video, I basically went over the same information, but I just realized that this video was deleted from my channel, and so I wanted to put it back out there in case anybody didn't get the opportunity to see it. Um, if you haven't checked out the live stream, I've been live streaming every day from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. So in the morning, I start about a half hour before the market opens. I got the charts up. I've been watching GameStop along with Clove and whatever other stocks I'm kind of into at the time. Um, just a cool opportunity to come hang out, talk stocks, and, uh, you know, really just shoot the shit. Um, and, yeah, and then also I get on at power hour some days, you know, from 12 to 1 for that last hour of market to do the same thing, talk stocks, and just, uh, just have fun, right? Uh, you know, watching the charts with other people. But anyways, have a great night. Um, you know, good luck in the markets tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow will be a green day for for GameStop and anything else that you're in and everything that I'm in because I need it. Thank you very much.